Okay, now we are going to continue with this confirm payment. Now we are done with this creating the form and also we are having all these options. Now first I am just going to create one table inside this my store. I will just click on new. Okay, now to store all the payments I am just going to create one table. I will just write here user payments. And inside this first I am just going to add here payment ID. Next I am just going to add here order ID. Okay, for each and every order we are having order ID. Next I am just going to add here invoice number. I just have to store invoice number. Then I should be storing the amount. Let me just add two more columns here. I just write here two. I will just click on go. Okay, I need payment ID, order ID, invoice number, amount. And after that I just have to give here payment mode. And finally I just have to display the date. Okay, at what time and on what date I have. At what time and at what at what time I have at what date and at what time I have ordered this one. Okay, I have done the payment. I just have to display that date. Okay, order ID with okay, payment ID, order ID, invoice number and amount will be integer data type. For each of them, I am not going to give any length. Okay, for integer by default, it is going to take 11. For payment ID, I am just going to increment this one. Okay, I will just check on this. Once I give this, inside this null index, I will be having this primary. Okay, this AI stands for auto increment, which means each and every time when I do the payment, this will be incremented by itself. Then order ID I am having, okay, whatever order order ID we are having here, that same order ID we are going to store here. Invoice number, amount, then payment mode, I am just going to give varchar. Size, I will just write here 255. Date, I am just going to give here timestamp. I will just come down. I will just write here timestamp. Length, I am not going to give anything. Okay, this is the table I have created, user payments. Inside this, I am having six columns. Payment ID is primary and auto increment. Order ID, invoice number, amount, payment mode and this date. Okay, once it is done, I will just click on save. Okay, now this payment is ready. Okay, this table is ready now. Let it load. Now you can see inside this, I am having user payments. And inside this user payments, I am having all these things. As of now, this table is empty. Let me just click on this. You can see as of now this table is completely empty. I don't have any data. Now once I click on confirm, all the data whatever I am having here, that will be stored inside this database. Okay, now what I am going to do? Now for this button, I have given the value as confirm payment. I will just copy this one. And below this if, I am just going to check for the condition. If is set. And using this post method, I am just going to paste that one. Okay, if this button is clicked, only then I have to access all the values from the input fields. First, I am just going to access the invoice number. Invoice number is equal to using post method. I am just going to access that one. And for this, I have given this value. I will copy this one. And here, I am just going to paste. Then second, I am just going to write here amount. And for this amount, I have given the name as amount. I will copy this one. And here, I am just going to paste. Then after that, I just have to select the payment mode. I will just write here payment mode is equal to dollar post and whatever value I have given inside this name attribute I am just going to copy this one and here I will be pasting that one. Okay, All the three values I have accessed from the input field now this thing I have to insert inside the database. So here I am just going to write insert query. I will just write here insert into insert into user payments. I will just I will just I will just open this brackets here. First, I am just going to pass here order ID. Okay, order ID we have already accessed from the URL. I have stored inside this variable. So, first I am just going to write here order ID. Payment ID I am not going to pass because I have given primary key and also auto increment. So, each and every time when I order something, it is going to increment by itself. After order ID, I am just going to pass invoice number. I will just copy this one. And here I am going to paste. Then we are having amount. I will copy this. Okay, these are the column names. Okay, these are not variables. These are the column names. Whatever we are having here, I am just passing that one. Then we are having payment mode. I will just copy this payment mode. And here I am just going to paste. Then finally, we are just having the date. Okay, date if you don't want to insert, then also no problem. Because that is going to give the exact date and time. Here I will be writing values. Now inside this values, first I am having order ID. My order ID is stored inside this variable. I will copy this one. Here I am just going to paste. I do not have to wrap inside single quotes or double quotes because this is integer data type. Then invoice number. Invoice number is stored inside this variable. Then after that I am having amount. Amount is stored inside this one. 
and payment mode is stored inside this one now this payment mode is varchar so i have to wrap inside single quotes okay this is how i'm going to insert the data inside this user payments now once it is done i have to execute this query i'll just write here result and inside this i'm just going to write here my sqli query and this is going to take two parameters connection variable and our query variable now below this one i'm just going to check for the condition if my query is executed successfully then below this i'm just going to write here echo and inside this i'll just write here h3 and for this i'll just give the class class i'm just going to give here text center text center and also i'll be giving here text light to display the message payment is done successfully or not okay you can give either alert or you can just display like this i'll be closing this one and here i'm just going to write successfully completed the payment i'll just write here h3 once it is done i should be redirected to profile page here i'll be writing this one i'm just going to remove this now in place of this i'll be writing here script tag i'll just close here script tag and inside this i'll be writing window dot open window dot open and here i'll be writing profile dot php profile dot php here i'm just going to activate this my orders okay when i redirect i should be re i should be getting the form and i should be opening in the self tab so here i'll be writing self i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one now here i'm just going to select net banking i'll click on confirm okay you can see here i'm having i am redirected to profile dot php and this payment is confirmed but here you can see it is not getting displayed for me now inside the database you can see the data has been stored now once the payment is done now when i redirected to payment page this i should be getting this it should be changed to paid now here i am having to this it should be changed to paid and also inside user orders once it is done instead of pending i should be displaying complete here okay now we are going to change that one okay first i'll just come here below this query i'm just going to write another query i'll just write here update update orders inside this i'm just going to write this update query update user orders update user orders and set order status set order set and set order status is equal to complete here i'm just going to write complete where where order id where order id is equal to whatever id we are getting from here if this and if these are getting matched and if we are done with the payment then i should just set the order status to complete then after that i just have to execute the query i'll just copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll copy this variable i'll just paste that one i'll just write here result orders i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one now you can see it is not getting okay now here it is not getting updated because we have already done the payment for this one and the data is stored inside the database but here it is not getting updated because we have already stored one section inside this payment i'll come to user payments from here i'm just going to delete this data i'll just click on empty the table okay now i'll come here i'll refresh this one i'll just click on confirm i'll just select here paypal confirm payment now you can see the status has been changed to complete okay this is how we are going to change once we are done with completing the payment now here the status should be changed to complete and also in place of this confirm i should be getting paid here i should not be getting confirm again so for that here we are having confirm let me just come to user orders dot php now in place of confirm i just have to display paid now below this one i'm just going to write php code now below this i have to write php code first i'll be closing this php okay for this particular thing i am just closing this php here i'll just close like this now here i'm just going to start php again inside this i'm just going to check for the condition if my order status if my order status if it is equal to equal to complete if it is equal to complete then instead of displaying this one i just have to display this one i'll just write here echo and inside this td i'll just write here paid i'll be closing this td else here i'll be writing else and inside this else i just have to display this one and here i'll be writing echo i'll just wrap inside double quotes and here i'm just going to close that one 
and also I'll just copy this TR. I'll just cut from here, and here I'll be closing that TR. Okay, this is how we are going to see if this is equal to complete. Okay, if this is equal to change to complete. Okay, you can see if the status is equal to complete, then instead of displaying this confirm, I just have to display this paid. Now I'll come here. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see it has been changed to paid. Okay, this is how we are going to write the query. Again, for this, I'm going to do confirm. I'll just select cash on delivery, confirm. You can see here also it is changed and here also it is changed. Okay, dynamically this is happening. So for that, we are just writing this code. Let me just explain you whatever we have done. First, I have just click check for the condition. If my button is clicked, only then I'm accessing all the values. I'm storing the data inside this payment page. Once it is done, here I'll be getting this successfully done. Okay, this message is not getting displayed because I, I am redirected to profile.php. I'll just comment to this one. Now I'll just refresh this. I'll just click on confirm. Now here I'm just going to select pay offline. Okay, cash and delivery confirm. You can see here I'll be getting successfully completed the payment. Okay, instead of displaying directly, I'm getting redirected to this page. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this one. Confirm. Now you can see here I am having complete and here status is paid. Okay, this is how we are going to display and inside this profile.php and my orders is active because here I have given my orders as active. Once the payment is done, then I have to update the orders table and wherever I am having this order ID, I just have to update the order status to complete. Once it is complete, inside user orders, I am just checking for the condition. If my status is complete, then I should just display paid or else I should display confirm payment or confirm whatever it is. We are done with this entire payment section. Next, we are going to work on deleting account.